Well, the first thing you might notice is that we have two wines of the week this week, not one. Um, the main reason I've chosen them, to be honest, is because of the way they are packed. Neither is in a glass bottle, one is in plastic, one is in paper. And this is all part of a drive towards a more sustainable uh, carbon footprint uh, with lower carbon footprint as wines are shipped around the world and trundled across the UK to different stores. And uh, a lot of innovations in that area in terms of lightweight packaging, these are two of the most radical that I've seen so far. In fact, I featured both before, but both of these arrived with me on the same day, these samples, and they're both really good wines, and I thought they would make an interesting kind of a reminder of what's happening in the industry. So wine number one in the paper bottle is the Redbrook Estate English Bacchus 2021. It comes from uh, Essex, and it comes from one of the oldest vineyards in Essex. Bacchus is one of those varieties that ripens well even in cool conditions and is very popular in England especially for still white wines. This one fermented with the same yeast that Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc uses in New Zealand and so you can expect some Sauvignon character here. Indeed there is, it is picked early, light and fresh, only 11% alcohol but rather than a kind of aggressive green note that some Sauvignon can have, this is much more around kind of chamomile tea nettle, very, very cool and slightly floral on the palate. Nice and vivacious. There's a kind of play between quite sweet fruit, maybe a little bit of residual sugar and loads of lemony acidity here to freshen it up. And I think it's one for the Sauvignon Blanc drinker that wants to try something a bit different from England. It is £18.99 in Lathwaite's but on one of their mixed 12 deals, that price falls to $14.99, making it more attractive. The package is a paper bottle with a plastic liner inside containing the wine, a bit like a box of wine. And when you're finished with this, you press a button on the side and the two parts split apart. Plastic goes in the plastic recycle bin, paper goes in the paper recycle bin, and you can recycle the bottle at home. Wine number two in this unusual plastic bottle, um, a bit like a kind of big oversized sham uh, shampoo bottle, I, I suppose. Uh, this is a new wine from an estate in Provence. This is the Chateau Galoupé, and the cuvee is called the Nomad Cuvée Rosé 2021. Uh, and a typical blend of Grenache and other local varieties. Now, this is an estate recently purchased by LVMH, Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, luxury goods brand, and a bit of a luxury price for this. It's £23 per bottle, uh, and you can buy that from clo19.com, which is actually the direct consumer retail arm of LVMH. And the wine itself, it's a really nice Provence pink this, um, quite a lot of tight, small red berry fruit, a little kind of streak of something floral, a little bit of a rosehip kind of note, but quite direct, quite citrusy too. Then on the palate, well that dry but ripe berry fruit matched by slightly saline, slightly salty finish plenty of acidity here as well, giving it a lovely balance and quite a gastronomic rosé, this one. And you could have it with a really nice uh, prawn risotto, for example, maybe a piece of uh, salmon, of a lightly smoked salmon would be ideal. Really nice wine, ambitious project, plastic bottle, 23 quid at the top of the rosé range. It's on the shelves now. My wines of the week, the Redbrook Estate Bacchus 2021, available from Lathwaite's at $18.99 or $14.99 on a deal. The Chateau Galopé Nomad, £23 from clo19.com. These are my eco-friendly wines of the week. Mm -hmm.